This is the new Roaring Moon Elite Trainer Box. And this is the new Iron Valiant Elite Trainer Box. That's right, the highly anticipated brand new Pokemon Scarlet and Violet expansion set, Paradox Rift is finally here. Today we're gonna to be opening up one of each of these new Elite Trainer Boxes and checking out two of the new promo cards, as well as trying to pull my top three chase cards out of the 80 plus full arts, illustration rares, hyper rares, and special illustration rares from this set. Now we've been known to pull some pretty crazy stuff on this channel from Evolving Skies, Moonbrions, to alternate art Gengar VMAXs, to Pokemon 151 God Packs. Oh, and if you're new here, my name is Pokefang and welcome to the Fang Gang. But before we dive into these, I want to celebrate you in the Fang Gang by giving out 10 packs of Paradox Rift. All you have to do to enter is hit that like button, subscribe to the channel with notifications on, and let me know down in the comments which do you prefer, ancient type or future type Pokemon. Best of luck, Fang Gang. Now, let's rip some Paradox Rift. Switching over to the card cam, we have our Iron Valiant ETB. When these first came out, I was actually uh, kind of joking that these looked like watermelon and lemonade flavors. So this is one of the sets, one of the few sets that actually has two different versions of the Elite Trainer Box. I've seen them do that a few times for some of the base sets, but uh, recently they've been doing them for some of the regular expansions as well. We have them for Evolving Skies, and now we have them for Paradox Rift, so that's pretty cool. I'm personally, I think, more of a fan of the Roaring Moon artwork, but I really don't know. These Pokemon are still very new to me. I actually have not beaten the expansions yet in uh, Scarlet and Violet. And just so you guys know, I will be opening up both of these ETBs in today's video, but I've also got some booster boxes for future videos and a couple more products coming down the line. We have our uh, Iron Valiant. It's got some green designs on the inside. We have our player's guide right here. We're actually gonna take a look at this in just a second. I wanna see the sleeves and stuff that we have in here first. We of course have our energy brick. We have our new dividers for Iron Valiant. This is actually pretty nice. I like these a lot. Um, these are like a matte finish. There's no like a metallic or anything crazy going on with them like we've seen in some of the other sets. We've got our promo card. We'll look at that in just a minute. Here it is. This is what I was looking for. So we've got code cards going out to the fan gang all throughout this video. So if you want to grab some Paradox Rift codes, stick around. There's going to be plenty more in all of these packs going out to you guys here. So another reason to keep those notifications on so you can be the first one to watch these videos and get those codes. Here are our new uh, sleeves. I'm not the biggest fan of the sleeves that have these borders on them. I don't know why they wouldn't just go all the way out to the edge. Uh, I saw them do that recently with, I think, the Zacian and Zamazenta uh, Crown Zenith boxes. Uh, wasn't a huge fan of that, so I really wish these sleeves were a little bit better. We, of course, have our status indicators and our dice and uh, damage counters. Then, of course, we have our packs. So this is actually my first time opening up any Paradox Rift, and I'm pretty excited about it. I don't actually know a whole lot about the set or what cards are in it. I've seen a few of the chase cards, but I've been trying really hard to avoid it as much as possible. And uh, I'll tell you right now, guys, this Iron Valiant is gorgeous. This Roaring Moon EX is also really, really cool. I would love to have that one. And a uh, big fan of Professor Sada, so that Professor Sada's vitality would be really cool. And uh, I know there's a lot of hype around this Parasol Lady, so we're gonna be looking out for that too. Hopefully the pull rates are really good. I have no idea what they're actually like. I haven't watched Danny Phantom's videos. Uh, usually when a set comes out, I'll watch his videos to try and see what the actual pull rates are because he does a great job putting up data and metrics on these sets. Um, but let's get ahead and uh, check out this uh, promo card here. I haven't actually seen these promos. And uh, so let's see, we got, ooh, okay. We got a future type in an illustration rare as our black star promo of Iron Bundle, which is a future type uh, Deli Bird which apparently has rockets. I didn't know it had rockets coming out of it, but it's shooting across an ice bridge. Put that right there. And uh, we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine packs. So strange. I really wish they would just go for the 10, uh, but getting nine packs is makes it really difficult to split an ETB with somebody if you're trying to have fun and just you know open things together. But these are our new pack artworks. We've got, uh, looks like one of each right there in the front. That's pretty cool, Garchomp. And I think there's only four pack arts. Could be wrong. No, there's five. No, there is four. Yeah. So four pack arts on this one. We're gonna get get right into these things, guys. It feels crazy. Honestly, it feels crazy to be ripping these packs right now because I've been waiting for this set for a really long time. When I first heard that there was gonna be 34 illustration rares and I think 15 special illustration rares and 28 full arts, 
you had me at you know 15 special illustration rares i'm very excited about this set it's massive there you go code card going out to the fang gang uh we're not going to do the pokey fang pack trick just yet that's where i take three cards from the back put them in the front we start off on the reverse we're going to go straight from the front at least just for this first few packs or this first box so we can take a look at some of the new cards that are actually in this set all right here we go we got magby i don't think i've seen magby in a uh, in a set in a while flamigo porygon oracorio screamtail ancient type so this is what i was talking about the ancient type and future type pokemon that don't have uh, any kind of special treatment to them you know they're not hollow or anything like that seems strange that they would do that we got a tm a technical machine for uh devolution very cool that tms are actually back in the tcg these have not uh, been around in a very long time we got Exploud, pretty cool artwork flamigo reverse a nicket reverse which i feel like i've seen this nicket artwork before guys let me know in the comments if this is a reprint or not it feels very familiar and we have an evil towel hollow and a darkness energy i don't know why i didn't do the energy at the beginning usually i'll guess the energy so we'll do that in the next one all right here we go we got the armor rouge pack art and this time we're going code card out to the fang gang and we're going to go with psychic energy Oof, no not this time and going from the front this time because we're not doing pack tricks not yet gligar blipug fuecoco hiding under a leaf in the rain that is adorable it's reminding me of the uh the charmander in the rain uh which is like a classic most iconic shot of the charmander snow runt which i think has a um illustration rare so does slitherwing an ancient type right there also very nice gorgeist one of my favorites uh pumpkin spooky pokemon my time of the year just ended i actually had a huge halloween special planned for you guys and because i work in marketing this time of year i wasn't able to get it together and, and be able to film and edit in time so uh, i will be planning on filming it early next year to make sure that they actually get you guys a proper fantastic halloween special that will be coming tandem mouse reverse Ooh, the gimme ghoul illustration rare beautiful card wait a minute i'm actually now just realizing that this gimme ghoul illustration rare partners with i think the golden go of uh, is it a special illustration rare or just a regular illustration regular illustration rare or special i can't remember but this actually goes with the uh, the golden go so that's pretty cool i didn't notice that before and we have a low kicks cool artwork i don't know how to feel about low kicks it was kind of an annoying pokemon when i was playing um scarlet uh, it's kind of grown on me over time gimme ghoul is super fun i'm the type of person who loves collectibles and loves to do sort of side questing and things like that in games so i spent a lot of time gathering up all of the uh the coins well it's like actually one of the first like things that i did was go crazy running around trying to collect all of those coins all right code card going out to the fan gang we're going psychic energy again nope we got that water wet energy all right so still going from the front because we got new cards we haven't seen yet we got the dwebble adorable i actually really like double Wizmer, uh dub blade or duo blade i never know how to say that one surskit simisage Orthworm, Toad Scroll, Iron Moth. There we go. Okay, so this Iron Moth is actually uh, in the reverse. So that looks fantastic. That's what they should have just honestly like made the card like this, uh, not even the reverse. So I'm actually really pumped to get the reverse on that one because it looks fantastic. All right, Wiglet. Is that an alternate art Wiglet? I thought I saw a different artwork for Wiglet in this set. That's a really cool one. And an Espatra. Okay, I'm not a big fan of that Pokemon because I can't say its name. I don't know how to say it. Espathra? Es Espathra? That's, that's a tough one. All right, here we go. Code card going out to the fan gang. Can we pull a special illustration rare? We're going to go with fire energy. Metal, okay. Metal energy merch is on Pokefang.com. Uh, Charcadet, Swablu, Panseer. There's that Wiglet again. Technical machine again, X Plowed. Okay, we're starting to get a lot of doubles now, so we might switch to the pack trick uh, pretty soon. 
Mella, Dwebble in the reverse, Galvalantula, and a Thievul. All right, guys, couple more packs, and we're gonna get to open up that uh, Roaring Moon ETB. I'm pretty excited about that one too. I actually don't know what the promo card is in that uh, yet. I know it's on the back, and I've just been super careful not to look at it. I like, kind of just squint my eyes so I don't see it. Uh, we're gonna go Psychic though. Oh, there's that fire we were looking for. All right, hopefully we could pull some fire though. Hone Edge, Horsey, that's a cute one. Joltik, I think Joltik has an illustration here in this set that's really, really cute. If it's the same one that was in Raging Surf, then uh, we're in for a treat because it's a really nice one. We got the Vanillax, Defiant Vest, Beluza, Volcanion, that's a pretty cool artwork right there. It looks really good in the reverse. Nice and like saturated, those colors. There's the Magby reverse going in the master set already. And the hollow of the Iron Moth. So uh, not all of the future and ancient types are going to be non-hollow. So that's very interesting. Wait, I'm actually kind of confused by that. I guess it just matter. I guess it just depends on whether or not it's a rare. So I would assume that all of the ancients and futures, they would have made rares, but I guess they didn't. Four more packs. Let's go. So far, we only got one pull out of this ETB. Not great. Lots of beautiful cards, lots of things going in the binder, obviously, but no major pulls so far besides our Gimme Ghoul, which is arguably still a pretty good pull. All right, here we go. We're gonna go with uh, Psychic Energy this time. Ugh, grass type. Okay, Toad School. I guess that's why we needed it. Uh, Vanillite, Charcadet, Swablu, Mela, Slitherwing. Yeah, so the Slitherwing is in Uncommon, so that's why it's not getting any sort of special hollow treatment. Gorgeist, Bound Sweet, Ancient Booster Energy Capsule Reverse. That looks wild. Why does this card look so cool? There's like, it's an ancient type trainer, I guess that's why. That actually looks really sick. I love that. And the Wu Qian, which is one of my favorite alternate arts, I think that was in um, the Scarlet and Violet Base or Paldea Evolved. I can't remember, but there's an alternate art or a special illustration rare of Wu Qian. Come on, we gotta get something here. We gotta get something. We need something good, something juicy. Something juicy for the thumbnail, you know? All right, you might not already know what it is then. Okay, so we're gonna go Psychic Energy. There it is, baby. That's how it works. If you just keep guessing, you'll get it eventually. All right, Remoraid, Pumpkaboo, adorable. And I miss Halloween already. Gimme Ghoul, Technical Machine. Oh, it's a different one. Turbo Energize, very nice. Wug Trio, another TM, Blindside, okay. Gimme Ghoul Reverse, Nimble Reverse, and a Kingdra. Where are the pulls? Please don't tell me the pull rates are rough on this set. I, I, can't, I can't afford another uh, set <laughs> with uh, bad pull rates. All right, code card going out to the fan gang. Enjoy that. Let me know in the comments if you're able to redeem that code. We've got uh, Darkness Energy again. Nope, fighting. Punchy's energy. <laughs> you know, you know. Panseer, Wiglet, Gligar, Tatsuguri, Vanillix, uh, Defiant Vest, Plusle, uh, the Aspatha Reverse, and a Steelix Hollow. Come on, man. You gotta get something. This is rough. This is super rough so far. Come on, Paradox Rift. I've been like so excited for this set for so long, so hopefully it doesn't actually turn out to be a bust for me. Another brilliant stars all over again. That set was impossible for me until uh, my wife recently opened one pack of brilliant stars and pulled the Charizard, it just blew my mind. All right, we're gonna go with, uh, let's go with lightning. Ah, metal again, okay. Last one we're doing the pack trick on, then we're gonna move over to our Roaring Moon ETB, which I'm super excited about. And we will not be doing the pack tricks on that one because I think we've pretty much seen all the cards so far now that we've seen this Iron Bundle, which we hadn't seen yet. Uh, also not a rare, so it's just a regular card. Techno Radar Future, Counter Catcher. That's, see, I knew there was a, a different Wiglet artwork. Sometimes there's commons and uncommons in these sets that have uh, alternate artworks or alternate, well, they're not just artworks. Sometimes it's a totally different card, but uh, multiple cards. And uh, it makes it kind of crazy when you're putting your binder together and you don't realize that and you kind of skip it and you have to go all the, all the way back and do everything all over again. Not fun. Blipug, reverse, and 
Altaria EX. Regular EX, still a nice card. Humming Heal. Uh, once during your turn, you may heal 20 damage from each of your Pokemon. That's kind of wild. I could see that being pretty useful. 260 HP. Um, yeah, not bad. Not bad at all. So at least we didn't pull any doubles, but two pulls from that ETB. And then we have our Roaring Moon. I actually really like this one. And you guys already know this, but I'm going to have uh, one of each of these is going to be in my sealed collection. I try to keep a sealed ETB from every set, which is why when there's these sets that have two of them, it makes it extra difficult because I also try to get the Pokemon Center exclusive versions. If I do end up getting those for these, I can't remember if I pre-ordered them or not, but uh, we will hopefully be opening up one on the channel because I typically will order two so that I can open them up. But uh, there we go. Player's Guide. It's got different artwork on it. But same stuff on the inside. We've got our blue inside our nine packs to try and hopefully get some better pull rates out of this etb there you go code card going out to the fan gang there are our sleeves for this one still not a big fan of that border but uh we have our promo card energy brick and these are our dividers which are also pretty nice dividers i'm actually not disappointed with the dividers uh, in this set so far. And I'm curious if the uh, Pokemon Center exclusive is just gonna have a different promo or if it's gonna be a different contents as well. So here we go, we got our damage counters. I just noticed there's actually a different colored die in each of these. So the counters are the same, but the, the dice themselves are actually different. So there we have our next promo here. And guys, forgive me, in one of my uh, last videos when I was looking at early leaks and information about uh, Paradox Rift. One of the things that I said was we'll probably see an Iron Valiant and Roaring Moon promo card in these ETBs, like matching the actual outside of the ETBs, because that's what we actually had with Scarlet and Violet. We had the Maridon and Coridon uh, promo cards came with the respective boxes, but this time we got something different. We got completely different Pokemon cards in the promos, and for this one, the Roaring Moon ETB, we got the Screamtail ancient type with looks like somewhat of a bend in the top of it. Not too bad. Not like my Mewtwo that was in 151. That thing was like totally bent. But uh, Screamtail ancient type, beautiful looking card. Honestly, like I think the hollow pattern uh, on camera right now is making it a little bit difficult to tell. But the artwork on that card is really, really nice. It's leaving that up. And hopefully that's not the only thing we get out of this ETB. But like I said, guys, make sure you're subscribed because I've got lots more Paradox Rift to open in future videos. Plenty of booster boxes and things. We are definitely going to try to complete the master set on this one here on the channel. And then we'll put the binder together in a live stream or something like that. I've been wanting to do that for a while. So let me know in the comments if you would tune in for that. Uh, code card going out to the Fang Gang. We're going to do uh, Psychic Energy again to start off with some good luck ghosties. No, maybe not. Maybe we won't have the good luck. One, two, three to the front is the Pokefang pack trick for Scarlet and Violet. There we go. Starting off with the Joltic Reverse. No way. We just we just doubled up on the Joltics, and this Joltics illustration rare is one of my favorite illustration rares in this set. Not a double banger, but I'll take it. So cute. Uh, they did a fantastic job of just keeping the artwork super simple, but using that shading and the reflections in the eyes and everything. My issue is they need to give the same type of love to the stage one Pokemon. I need a Haunter Illustration Rare. Pokemon Company, if you're listening, please, Haunter Illustration Rare, make it happen. If you could do all three of them in one set, like you did with uh, Pokemon 151, with the Charizards and everything else, uh, I did pull a God Pack from 151, uh, no cap, in one of my last videos. Go back and watch that video after this. It was so amazing. This is probably one of my most like epic moments on this channel. One of my favorite moments on this channel. Uh, so there goes our code card, and we're gonna go with Psychic Energy. <sighs> Metal Energy. One, two, three to the front. Again, I'm not gonna keep name dropping. Uh, the fact that I have the Metal Energy merch line on Pokefang.com. You can check it out if you want to. Take it tough. Reverse. Octillery. 
and the Brute Bonnet. Okay, so the Brute Bonnet is an ancient type that did get a rare. So we get it in a nice hollow. I actually really do like the way that that looks. So uh, I wish our hollows in Scarlet and Violet were a lot better. Uh, same goes for the uh, reverses. There's like barely any hollow to them. All right, here we go. Code card going out to the Fang Gang. We're going Psychic. Yes, we got it again, baby. That's how it works. Good luck, Ghosties. One, two, three to the front. That means this ETB is going to be much better. Okay, Tandem House. Reverse, Charcadet Reverse, and a Deoxys. I didn't even know Deoxys was in this set. It's actually pretty cool. I dig it. All right, and we got a Toxel. I don't think we saw that Toxel or the Spinda. Anything else in here? Elekid, Rika. We got a special illustration rare Rika in this set. Screamtail Ancient Type and oh, Professor Sada's Vitality. Got to be one of my top three chase cards for sure. Okay, here we go code card going out to the fang gang we're going i feel like electric again the lightning there we go got it two in a row two in a row one two three to the front technical machine turbo energize reverse the absol did we see this absol already in a different set i feel like i've seen this card already i don't know why but i feel like i've seen it and we got oh we got something good we got something good. We got something juicy right there. We got something. It's a Pokemon because I saw the EX logo. <sighs> Guys, is it something good? Let's see what we got. <sighs> oh, it's the Serena EX uh, Full Arts, I guess. Double, this is a double rare. I, I don't know what we're calling these anymore, but they're very, very nice. Serena EX, and there's that little Fue Coco again. Super cute. This is kind of reminding me of that new shiny, Shining Treasures, I think it's gonna be. Uh, it's gonna be coming out in January. I think they already showed some cards from the Japanese set leaking. Um, I don't know how I feel about it. A lot of those cards are just kind of like the same artworks reprinted over and over again. The baby shinies in it did actually look really good though. But there you go, Serena EX. We're already doing better on this ETB than we did with the first one. So let's hope we can continue that luck. All right, and don't forget, if you didn't smash it already, the luck button looks like this. Okay, code card going out to the Fang Gang. Then we've got Water Energy. What's happening? All right, we're on a roll now, three. Three for three. All right, three to the front as well. Swablu, reverse. Let's see, special illustration, right? special illustration, right? come on. Oh, it's a Wimpod. Followed by a Thievul, Dud Pack. Okay, that's all right. Still, I actually really enjoy the artworks on the uh, regular cards. It's just that, obviously, it's more exciting to hunt the big, shiny, textured cards. Uh, they're very fun to have in the collection as well. So there we go. Code card going out to the Fang Gang. Fire Energy. Darkness. I was feeling darkness. I didn't say it. All right, here we go. Three to the front. Evil Tal. Reverse. Oh, it's just a Lyford, which I don't think I've seen so far. And oh, the Spathra again. I feel like we keep pulling this card uh, in its various forms. I think we got the reverse like twice, a couple of the hollows already. This is a huge set. So uh, there's a lot of cards to pull. Hopefully we get at least one or two more crazy pulls. That's what we do here on the channel. We get crazy pulls. So. There you go, code card going out uh, in this box. If we can get two more, that would be amazing. Here we go. Uh, we're gonna go with uh, Darkness Energy again. How often does that happen, right? <sighs> Punchies. <laughs> okay, one, two, three to the front. Gimme Ghoul Reverse. Is that a different artwork? Is it the same one? I can't remember. Toad School Reverse and something. We got something, I see some shine right there. I think it's a regular EX. But I don't know what it's going to be because I don't know all the cards in the set. See Altaria EX. Are we going to... Is Altaria going to be the new Wigglytuff EX that I had in 151 where I just keep pulling it over and over again? But we are at least getting some more pulls from this box. But we're coming down to the end here, guys. We've only got two packs left. And like I said, we will be opening up plenty more Paradox Rift and... Plenty more Pokemon 151. I actually have a lot of videos to shoot for 151. Uh, plenty of products sitting right here next to me. 
ready to film. Uh, it's just that I didn't get around to filming, filming them before Paradox Rift dropped, and now I have to switch over to Paradox Rift. But we will be switching back and forth between the two sets because they're both amazing sets, and I have plenty more cards in 151 that I need. But uh, we're going to go with uh, Fire. Oh, all right. Well, the, the winning streak is over, apparently. Okay, Purloin. Reverse. Mantike. I love Mantike. So cute. I love the illustration rare of this one in this set. And low kicks. Okay, last pack, guys. Smash the like button for some last pack magic. We've been known to get it. We've been known to get first pack magic. So hopefully this is the moment. But otherwise, thank you guys so much for sticking around. Open up packs with me. Hopefully you pulled some of these, uh, some good cards from those codes. Uh, we're going to go with uh, Psychic again. We're back, baby. We are back. All right. One, two, three to the front. <sighs> Wimpod. Let's see. Can we get something good? Our last pack here, guys. Wimpod. Followed by. Garbodor. All right. You know what? I do like Garbodor. I like Garbodor and I like Trubbish. I say what you will. I know that they're garbage, but they're actually pretty cute. Something about them. I don't know why. It appears to my inner goth kid from when I was younger. And our final card is going to be a Latios. These are going to be my top three cards from today's video. Thanks for sticking around and opening up packs with me. Make sure to smash that like button on the way out. I'll catch you in the next one. And as always, happy haunting, fan gang. <laughs>